Hello everyone, my name is Tim Abbott and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. Today I'd like to give you an overview of the Cisco Identity Services Engine Passive Identity Connector or ICE PIC. But before I give you the overview, I want to first make a differentiation between active identity and passive identity. When we do active identity, we're using something like 802.1x to learn their credentials. In this sense, there's a supplicant that sits on the endpoint that uh, then sends the credentials to ICE, which is the authentication server for validation. Once ICE gets those credentials, we learn the identity, and then we validate those credentials against Active Directory. Once authenticated, we can then publish information about that endpoint to PX grid, such as the MAC address, IP address, username, hostname, etc. With passive identity, ICE or ICE PIC doesn't actually sit in the middle. There's no authentication that's occurring here. In this sense, we have a user that sits down at an endpoint, presses Control Alt Delete, and then logs in directly to Active Directory. At that point, an Active Directory agent or other uh, other probe in ICE PIC will then learn about that logon event. We'll get the user to IP mapping and then publish that via PX Grid to solutions such as StealthWatch or the Firesight Management Console. So, what is ICE PIC? ICE PIC essentially is ICE, but in a small two-node form factor. Ice pick gives you the following features. We have passive ID probes that include an Active Directory agent that will sit on, it's a small piece of software that'll sit on a member server or domain controller and send information about logon events to Ice pick. We also have a WMI probe that we can remotely query Active Directory for those logon events. If you don't want either of those uh, to be used with your Active Directory controllers, you can then use a Kerberos span basically will take a network tap and sniff Kerberos spans uh, Kerberos traffic that way for a learning identity. We also have a custom built syslog parser that has a number of built in templates for use that will allow us to learn identity over syslog. And then lastly, we have a terminal services agent that will allow IcePick to learn about user identity in VDI environments. So Cisco Ice Pick also does PX Grid, and it's for Cisco subscribers, Cisco products only. And we do have certificate services, but they are used for getting certificates issued for PX Grid purposes to Cisco subscribers. And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ice Pick UI. Okay, so I've logged into the Ice Pick UI, and as you can see right off the bat, it's slightly different than what you would find with Ice. At the top, we have a menu structure that's specific for Ice Pick. We give you some passive identity metrics to include the number of sessions the system is tracking, any providers that are configured, as well as agents, and the number of subscribers that uh, the, the system is currently tracking. We got a couple of dashlets here for you to, to look at. The providers gives you an overview of the status of any providers configured, the number of subscribers, any OS information that we glean, and any alarms that the administrator needs to be aware of. So let's look at some of the providers first here. We'll go ahead and click on Active Directory under the Providers menu. And as you can see, I've got an instance of Active Directory already set up and running. What we do first is actually join the Active Directory domain. And as you can see here, I've done that. The status is operational. To set up Passive ID, all we do is click this tab here. We make sure that we add a domain controller we want to use for Passive ID, and then it will show up here. And then right from this UI, there's a couple of things that we can do. We can use an existing agent, which is what I've got configured here for this domain controller. We could deploy a new agent if we'd like, or we could configure WMI. Clicking this button here will tell IcePick to go and configure the Active Directory domain controller so that it can communicate via WMI. In previous versions of ICE and Passive ID, the Active Directory administrator had to go in and modify a number of different settings on the controller so that so that this communication could occur. With ICE Pick, we give you the ability to do that automatically, remotely, so that the administrator doesn't have any work to do other than click this button right here. So really easy to set up and, and use Active Directory as a provider. I also want to show you the syslog providers as well. I've got one that's already set up and I'm using an instance of ICE already. So let's take a look at how this is configured. I select the, the instance name and then click edit. And basically this is all the information you need to set that up. Give it a name, enable it, the FQDN of the, of the ICE server, the type of connection, the template that I want to use, and the default domain that we want to use. So here 
like I said earlier, we've got the syslog parser that includes a number of different templates. So as you can see here, if you have any of these solutions in your environment, we have these, these pre-built templates that allow you just to simply click the solution type and then save and you're, you're, you're ready to go. If you're curious to see what the regex looks like, you can go ahead and click on this view button and we take you to the administrator guide that show you some example syslog messages and some of the regex that we can use to uh, learn the user to IP mapping. So a uh, great piece of information for, for, for end users. So now that we have the provider set up, let's see if we have any sessions and we do. So clicking on the live sessions tab is not too uh, dissimilar than what you'd see in ICE today. These are all the sessions that the system's currently tracking. You see the identity, the IP address, the server in which it learned, uh, any other bits of information like the MAC address, as well as the provider. So you can see for all of these session entries, uh, IcePick tells you the provider type uh, that, uh, that you use to learn the identity. So we've got agent and we've got syslog and you also see endpoint here. Endpoint is the, is the endpoint probe that IcePick uses to ensure that the user is still at a specific address. So about every four hours, the endpoint probe will go out uh, via uh, um, a, a communication protocol and query the endpoint to see that the user is still logged on. So as you can see, not only was the initial logon learned by the agent, but we can see that the user is still logged on via the endpoint. So that's a quick overview of the UI and IcePick, and um, hopefully you get a chance to try it out soon. I hope you enjoyed this short video overview of the ISE Passive Identity Connector. Please be sure to check out the community's website for any more information, and thank you for watching.